What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your number one source for handheld gaming. So in my last video, we talked about the Legion Go. And in that video, I basically said, hey, I'm looking at this device, but I'm kind of on the fence about it because it does have the exact same Z1 Extreme processor as the ROG Ally, which I already own. And I've been quite happy with the performance of the ROG Ally, but the Legion Go includes a lot of features that I wish were included in the ROG Ally. Things such as a trackpad, a larger battery, and multiple USB-C charging ports so that you can have another device connected to the handheld while you're charging it at the same time. This is something that I really did love about my Aya Neo. I also love the fact that it uses faster memory, LPDDR5 7500 mega transfers per second versus the ROG Ally 6400 mega transfers per second. This should result in a boost in performance. This thing even comes with an awesome case that allows you to charge the device while it is inside of the case. That is another thing that I have been wanting on my other devices, the ability to charge the device while it's still inside the case. And let me not leave out the fact that this thing has a built-in kickstand, which I believe is awesome. It'll allow us to position the device in whatever angle we want so that we can comfortably play this device wherever. So, I mean, that is also awesome as well. So after careful consideration and even feedback from the community, we did a poll asking you guys, what do you guys think about the Lenovo Legion Go? And the vast majority of you told us that you believe that this thing is a go. So our pre-order is in, we will be receiving the Lenovo Legion Go here at the end of the month, and we will be doing all kind of testing on it, comparing it against the ROG Ally. I'm also interested in seeing how it performs at lower wattages, such as 15 watts, because it has faster RAM. So that's gonna give us a little bit of a boost, or it should at least theoretically give us a little bit of a boost in performance, even at those lower wattages. We'll, we'll take a look at that and see. I'm not making any claims, but we will be testing that. By the way, shout out to Benjamin Green. He's the one you're seeing in the video here demonstrating the capabilities of the Lenovo Legion Go. He was cool enough to drop by our channel, drop a comment in the comment section. And he did say that they are going to be doing even more demonstrations showing off gameplay in the coming weeks and days. So look forward to that. We will be continuing our coverage and thank you, Benjamin, for dropping by. We'll definitely be on the lookout for more cool content from Benjamin Green leading up to the official release of the Lenovo Legion Go. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this demonstration video. Originally, it was around two hours long, but we managed to chop it down to the most important parts, showing off all of the features and capabilities of the Lenovo Legion Go. It will also include timestamps so you can skip ahead and see exactly those things that interest you most. Once again, this is a pre-production model, so the final version will be a little bit different when you receive it. Unfortunately, when he's showing some of the gameplay, it's not gonna look as crisp as the other video that I posted because I believe this is a older video where he was using a, a webcam to film the screen of the device. And later on, he kind of switched cameras, so it came out better in the Cyberpunk video. But nevertheless, take it for what it is. You'll be able to see FPS mode in action and get an idea of how it all works. If you guys enjoy this type of content and would like to see more, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future content like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and soon the Lenovo Legion Go. You definitely do not want to miss out on any of it. We're out of here, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, one of the big selling points of this is you can actually take off the controls too, and it's very, very easy. It took me a second to figure out how to do it, but once you do, you just you just pull that button right back here. I'm gonna show you guys in the bottom camera maybe. Um, and then just drag it down. Drag them both down, they just pop right out. And then you've got your hands-free method right there. And I've not actually tried this yet, but the right one is the one that slots into the controller like this. And then this becomes a mouse you can use. So I'm gonna try it today with, with Apex in particular and see how it runs. This is the software itself, which again is, is gonna change. You can see there's some a little bit of weird wording, but uh, you get the platforms there like Xbox and Epic, Steam's already on here, um, plus Spaces itself kind of gets you to certain games. It's a little bit, a little bright in my camera, but I just want to give you the sense of what it looks like. And you can move around in there. And a lot of the buttons on the right and left let you pop back in and out of the software while you're in games, which is pretty cool. This is the thing I want to show too. And I don't know if this will be the same as it is in production, but let me show you guys the little overlay you get. I think, oh, I hope this is readable. Okay. So you see how you've got 
performance in terms of like what the battery levels are on the controllers and the host machine, as well as how your CPU and GPU are doing utilization wise. Uh, you have options for an on-screen display to monitor that stuff like FPS or advanced power mode, very similar to our laptops, right? Where you have performance, balanced, efficiency, and thermal mode. Now, I think the thermal mode options might change prior. Uh, also, Radeon Super Resolution, things like that. So there's a lot of options to control the performance on here. I think you also can control, if you go to the settings, the quick settings, there's more options in here. Like the screen resolution, I hope you can see that. Plus the screen refresh rate, uh, lighting effect, and again, Radeon Super Resolution is in both of those, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> does it have the AMD hardware? Yes, it does have all AMD. Dude, how do I <laughs> try to do slides and stuff? How do you even put your controller, your gun away on controller? You just hold Y, okay. Something like that. The funny thing is you can use a mouse on here, but you can't use a, well, you might be able to use a keyboard actually. Let me look into that with uh, like Bluetooth or something. I'm not sure. But obviously the built-in FPS mode is the left side is a regular controller and the right side is a mouse. <laughs> but my, my issue is I don't know any of the actual binds for stuff on controller. So it doesn't really help me too much. All right, now, okay, that's my tactical. This is my ult, I think, is that side button. And then, what does this bumper do? Okay, that reloads, nice. I can aim and everything and shoot. The question is, how do I interact? Okay, that heals me. This is my, okay, here's how I switch weapons. That's good to know. Oh, it's weird, it's bound to one and two. Okay, so those are one and two, your actual uh, buttons here. I'm learning as we go here. <laughs> Show like a normal. Oh, it even shows you your temps? That's crazy. I don't know if this will be in final, but I kind of hope it is. So, let's see if you guys can see this. There's options in the on-screen display for like full on-screen display of performance. Let's see if you can see this, maybe. You got your GPU percentage and temps built right in. Hang on, come on. Um, as well as RAM, battery, fan, even FSR, everything. It's a little hard to see, I apologize, but hopefully you get the idea of what's up there. That's pretty cool, and displays right over top, I believe, of the game. I can switch to God of War really quickly if you want to. I don't know exactly how much time we'll have to do that, but you can try it. Whee! What release in Japan? Um, that's a good question, Mate. I don't know off the top of my head. I would think it probably would. It seems like it's pretty popular everywhere. I need to check. I actually don't know who the product manager for Japan is. You didn't already redeem it? <laughs> what are you trying to redeem? Also, does it say that on like the Gleam or on the redemption site? Like Steam or Apex EA kind of thing. I'm not sure where, what or where you're redeeming it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first look at this unit. I am, as far as I know, I get to use this thing for a little while. So what I'm gonna do is try to install some more games on here off stream, like some of the more modern games. I'm also gonna try and get an actual adapter so we can send the stream signal, the gameplay, and not look through a webcam the whole time. <laughs> Maybe get a better webcam too. But we'll go through some more games and see how they run on here. Uh, just one last look at it right here. For those of you guys have not already seen it. Again, very interesting device to stream because like I've never done a handheld stream before in a way, so hopefully this worked out. But yeah, I'll try out Lies of P, Starfield. Um, I'm really excited for the Cyberpunk update. I might even play through the whole thing of that.